Hey guys, it's someone9031 here, and today I will be teaching you guys about friend functions in C++. Now, what a friend function in C++ is, is it is a non-member function, um, so a normal function, that you declare to be friend of a class. And basically what that does is, it gives that non-member function uh, full access to the internals of that class. It gives it full access to any private or protected members of the class. Um, so when you make a function, a friend function of a class, um, then it's basically sort of like a member function in that it can access every part of the class. But it's not really a member function. It's not tied to that class. It's not uh, within the class. Um, also, a friend function can be a friend of um, more than one class. So it can access private or protected members of two or more classes, um, which sort of ties the classes together, which really isn't something you want. So that's usually not done. Um, well, sometimes it's done, but that's you know special circumstances and circumstances where uh, you need to do that. And also, a friend function um, can be a member function of another class. So you can have a member function of um, another class be friend functions with um, a different class. So you can have a friend function that is also a member function of another class. So um, now that we know that, let's start um, with our declaration for a friend function. So with a friend function, what you have to do is go inside um, how, um, the declaration of the class of which it is friends with. So you go into the declaration of the one or more classes that it's friends with, and then you put friends, friends, sorry, and then um, you uh, basically put the normal function header as you would if you were declaring it. Um, normally. So we would put, let's say, void change num. Actually, in case you haven't noticed, I have a very simple my class class here with two private members int my num and double my double. Now, with friend functions, it does not matter where inside the class declaration you put the friend declaration. Um, access modifiers do not affect it. You can have declare friend functions within. Um, the private category and it would have no effect. Uh, let's see. You should also know that a uh, friend function is not a member function. It is not called on an object. It is not accessed with um, a member uh, access operator. So you can't go, let's say, uh, my class uh, MC was an object of my class. You can't go MC dot change num because um, what you're trying to do is access a member function uh, called change num, but that doesn't exist. It's a friend function. So when you have a friend function and you want it to modify an object, you have to pass in that object as an argument. Uh, um, the friend function cannot be called upon the actual object. So you need to pass it in as an object, so uh, usually as a reference or a pointer because uh, when you pass these in you want to modify them in some way usually. So we pass in a my class reference and we pass in an int. So what we want to do is change the my num variable. Now let's do change double. Same deal. except this time we take a double and let's just do uh, let's see print num this will just take one argument sorry about that Right, so now we have our my class uh, class, and we have four um, friend functions. Now we go on with um, the rest of your code, and we declare these friend functions um, just like we normally would. 
uh, we don't put the friend specifier in front of it because uh, you only put friend within the uh, function that it is friends with. So now we just go on and uh, declare it as we normally would. And int i. And what we're going to do is mc dot my num equals i. And if we had normally tried to do that, um, I just want to show you here. If we had normally tried to do uh, something like uh, my class m m dot my num equals three, we would have gotten an error. Uh, this declaration has no storage class or type specifier, so that's not what we want. But as you can see here, we have no such error because it has access to these private members right here. So it's really that simple. It's a uh, quite a simple topic. Um, should be quite simple to understand. mc dot my double equals d. Um, and you should also notice that we don't have to put my class in front of all these names because these are really just normal functions. They're just declared as friend functions. They're not really part of the class, so we don't put that. And c out mc dot num. Sorry, my num. Void, let's see, print double my class mc, c out mc dot my double. Just like that. Now we can go in to our main function. Let me just write it out here. Now I can declare my class uh, m. Um, let's see. Now I can call it change num, and then we pass in m, and then we pass in in i. Let's see nine, like so. Change double m a thirteen eighteen point three two. Um, now we can call print double m and print num m. All right, here we go. Let's just run our program now. to build. I haven't built this program yet, so it might take a while. And here we go. We have 18.2 and 9. So yeah, that's basically friend functions. Uh, just for a recap, a friend function is a regular function um, that you declare to be friends with a class, one or more classes and that function that you declare to be friend has full access to the private or protected members of uh, the particular classes to which it is friends. So yeah, that's it. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe, rate. If you have any uh, comments, feedback, or questions about this or any other C++ topic, please feel free to leave a comment below or you can message me on YouTube. Thanks for watching.